Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's video I'm really excited to show you a new feature that we developed here in back 4 app that really expands the functionality of parse. So if you use back 4 app for a while, uh, you probably noticed this new blockchain menu here. So we just developed this and what this does, it allows you to save uh, the records of your parse classes in a te uh, Ethereum testnet inside back 4 app. So I'll, I'll tell a, a little bit later about the benefits that this has, but uh, essentially, if you click this menu, you find 100 fake Ethereums. It's important to tell you this is a, this are fake Ethereum, so it's only available inside the test net that we run here in back for app. You cannot use these uh, 100 Ethereums uh, somewhere else, so just here. And it's also important to tell you that this only works inside the Ethereum test net that we have here in back for app, so it's not the real Ethereum network. So uh, it allows you to save data from all your parse classes inside this uh, test net that we have. And this allows you for all the benefits of a blockchain based uh, record uh, to apply to all your classes and objects inside your application. So if you need to uh, uh, ensure a record exists, it, uh, it was created at that point for uh, that class or for that specific user and you need to prove the existence of that record and that it, it was not changed over time this is a really fantastic tool for that so to illustrate i'm going to here come here to uh, database browser i'm going to create a class i'm going to call this my class and make it public and this is a regular class, so you have the regular parse properties, object ID, updated that, created that, and ACL. And I'm going to add two more properties in here. Let's add just one, actually. So a string, it will be my name. Add column, and my name as a string showed up there. So in order to make this class to be able to save to the blockchain, you now have to come here to blockchain. And down here, choose the class that you want to save. So in this case, my class, add to blockchain. And from now on, every time I save a record, it will start consuming these 100 Ethereum that we, uh, fake Ethereum that we have here. So back to the database browser. If, I, uh, if you notice, I only have right now five uh, properties in this class. But if I add a row, let's call Alex, hit enter. It was now saved, but if I fully refresh the browser to retrieve the latest schemas, including the blockchain schemas, so command shift R on my Mac, you will notice that now I have two more uh, properties that were, were created automatically for me. Blockchain status, telling this was sent to the blockchain, and blockchain result, which is a uh, JSON uh, formatted log file that shows you exactly uh, what was saved, when and where inside the blockchain. So you can use this data to validate the uh, records inside the blockchain. And you can also use any block explorer to check those blocks and ensure a record is a real record. So when can you use this? So every time you need to prove the authenticity of a record shows it happened, when it happened and for which class it happened, uh, this makes a lot more sense because now you can prove to the end client that that record was created at that point in time because it's uh, persisted inside the blockchain network and validated from that moment on. So it's a consistent proof that, uh, that uh, one record exists and was created that way. So you can use this, for instance, to ensure a user has uh, access to some, let's say, uh, inside game uh, um, items they purchased, or let's say, uh, if you have a, a NFT application and you want to uh, persist the information of which user has that one record, and this is a legitimate proof that this one user has access to that one object. So it makes very, very easy for you to integrate a consistent validation of authenticity for every single record in your class. So this, this can be used in all classes. All you have to do once again is come to the blockchain and register the classes here. Uh, the fake Ethereum will be getting consumed as you use those. Uh, if you need more, all you have to do is contact our support. We can set up a few more for you. 
and uh, this really makes a much more trustworthy to work with parse because now you can uh, have proof for your end clients that the transactions happen. So I'm really excited about this. In my opinion, it really expands the functionality of parse and I'm sure in a few uh, days to come, we will see many users implementing uh, lots of new ideas to it and making it even more powerful than, than it is today. So I hope you like this video and hope to see you, you back on the channel soon and using this feature as soon as you, as you can. So see you soon. Bye bye.